Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and if you're like me and you've got an Apple Watch, in my case the Apple Watch Series 2, and you can check the link within this video's description to find the various straps and, uh, and other accessories that I've, I've found of interest, but you probably questioned and you, you may not have wanted to put it in the water. Now obviously with any sort of device, uh, whether it be a watch or a... Uh, or a phone or, or whatever piece of technology, a camera, it's always uh, probably best practice to not submerge it. But in this case, that was my intended purpose. Excuse me, Sean Coonery. That's Sean Coonery, the big Maine Coon cat. He's, he's kind of interfering with the filming here. Uh, but my intended purpose for this Apple Watch Series 2 was to wear while I swim, wear while I work out, you know, if I need to take a shower or a bath while I'm wearing it, I can do that. I don't have to take it off. And that leads to the question, how does it, uh, what happens after you go swimming with your Apple Watch 2? Whether it's in a pool or in the ocean or, you know, maybe just in a bathtub. So what happens? So what we're going to do within this video is I'm going to take my Apple Watch Series 2 off of my wrist. You can see right there, and I'm going to dip it in here. Check that out, Sean Coonery. That's an Apple Watch in water. Yep. So, you know, you may be nervous about doing this, and again, I don't encourage anyone to do it, because with any electronic device, there's always the possibility of it, uh, of it ruining due to, uh, due to submersion, submersion, rather, in water. So let's dip it a few times. Let's do it a really good job here. And just so you don't think I'm faking this, I'm going to get water all over the table. Look at that. Drops of water. Let's dip it again. Yeah, let's get it good and wet. Ah. So I've been dipping my Apple Watch in water, also known as H2O. It's kind of twisted around here like we're stirring a drink. Get it good and wet. So now let's take it out of the water. And I'm going to have to enter my code to unlock it. Actually, I have to put it back on my wrist, I think. So I'm putting it back on my wrist. I don't know if I have to do that or not. I think it's going to ask... Oh, it's asked me for a passcode, though, yeah. So I can keep it off my wrist. So what you do, and you can see right here, that's the the Apple watch face that I use is the, what do they call it, activity meter or whatever. When you're on your watch face, whether it's activity meter or whatever it may be, swipe up. When you swipe up, you will then see this icon here. And again, this is the Apple Watch Series 2. So if you've got Apple Watch 1, I don't think this will be there, but it looks like a water drop. Oops. So we're going to hit the water drop icon. Nothing's happened yet. It says turn digital crown. Okay, so I had to push. Turn digital crown. So did you hear that? What that was doing, it was making a sound which was pushing the water that was inside the speaker out. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Now, again, I've only been wearing this Apple Watch 2 for... Uh, this is my second full day wearing. So, this is actually the first time I've submerged it in water. And uh, I'm going to put it back in there just for the fun of it. But it'll be interesting to see how this holds up. One thing I have not yet tested with the Apple Watch 2 is salt water. And I'm curious to see how salt water may behave differently. What, what concerns me the most about salt water is that obviously with salt water, there's little pieces of sand in it. So is that going to ruin the Apple Watch 2? Again, to be tested. But so far, it's held up with the water. Follow my channel, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. 
because when I'm wearing my Apple Watch 2 tomorrow, um, if I encounter any issues due to submerging it in water this evening, I will let you know. That's part of my my thrill with technology is is putting it through its paces, and and that's that's why I bought the Apple Watch Series 2 because the Apple Watch 1 was of zero interest to me. It was not water resistant, and it did not have a GPS that would enable it to function without an iPhone with you as well. So uh, this is a great way for me to track my workouts, and I can go swimming with it. I got my GPS. So stay tuned for more updates. And again, be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash iRickSky. Check out my other videos too. And check the link within this video's description for a variety of, uh, there's a protective case, and I don't have it on here yet. I've got one ordered for the actual watch itself that may better prevent scratches. This is just the base aluminum model, so it's, you know, it's probably prone to scratching. And then also uh, other straps. Uh, this is just the strap I got with it. I think it's called Coco or something. It looks nice, feels good, but I want to mix up those straps. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all, Irix Guy here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel, and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day.